Hello everybody, my name is Luigi Pengera. I'm a photographer, a graphic designer and a videographer. And in this video I want to talk about the RAW format. R-A-W and what it is and how it can help you. So the RAW format is pretty rare on most consumer grade photo cameras. Uh, there may be some which do feature that but it's mostly for a prosumer or a professional camera. Uh, these DSLRs almost always have raw, um, the raw format taking ability. So raw, unlike a JPEG or other, other kind of photo image formats, stores not the image per se, but information. So when you take an image with raw, it captures not only the photo, or say like a figure of your um, of, of a family member, it takes, it records information of the light, how much light it is, how much color it is, the, the, the mid-tones, the highlights, the shadows, all sorts of information and it bundles together into a nice format. The upside of this is that when you go to Photoshop Elements, um, no, Lightroom or Photoshop and using the raw editor, you can um, import your raw files uh, depending on the file format whether it's a DNG or CGI or any of that and you can edit them and actually I prefer raw to rather JPEG because you can truly really edit them if you have a dark image you can adjust the exposure you can adjust the highlights and it, it really functions that kind of well. Maybe I'll make a tutorial on it someday on my channel. But I, RAW is extremely powerful as an editing medium. It allows you to correct almost most mistakes. I mean, the, the downside, it's not going to be perfect. Um, there's always going to be a, a noise filter, you know, the little specks like uh, the marching ants of ancient TVs uh, there's always got gonna like little noises and if you if you get a an image which was shot at a dark interior for example and you bump about too much it's gonna look fake and not as good the other downside is the file size um, they can range from 30 megabyte to God knows what, they are so big, raw files are so huge in, in megabytes and uh, if you don't have like a 32 gigabyte or a 16 gigabyte card it can take up quite a lot of room on your card when you're taking photos. So that's the other thing. So once you've um, edited your raw image, you export it to a JPEG and you apply a compression and that sort of thing like that. So that's it that's all i want to talk about raw really really useful uh learn to love it because it is your friend